Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching me from. On follow up on our series of lectures on e fertility. Today, I have advice for couples that are believing to have children. Way to start. It is streaming already video on uh, causes of male fertility and video on causes of female fertility. But today, here's the advice. E fertility is termed e fertility after one year of living together with having regular intercourse unprotected sexual intercourse and then you can now say you are not fair time and this video will be talking to both couples come around and learn something if you are trusting god to have children what you must do and what you should not do one evaluation should start with a man it is easier to evaluate a man than a woman. A man, just one test, you'll be able to know whether he's the cause. Why a woman can do as much as five, six tests, except you're lucky to, to find one early. Even if you find that, there are multiple, there can be multiple causes in a female's uh, cause of infertility. One woman can have hormonal imbalance, can have uterine fibroids, can have a blocked tube. And meanwhile, if it's a man, if you do a seminar fluid analysis, you'll be able to know the, the motility, the number, the count, the volume, and several other things. In addition, they can do a uh, culture and sensitivity with it to know whether the man has got an infection. So it is better to evaluate a man first before you start with the woman. And then, don't be anxious for nothing. Anxiety is an enemy. It will rob you of your success. Being anxious cannot be a solution, cannot bring anything close to you. So why being anxious? Try as much as possible to re resist family pressure. Say no to it because it's not going to help you. Be happy and cooperate. Another thing is, do no blame game. Don't blame the other person. Because you are lucky that the problem is not coming from you. Do not mean that the person that is having the problem is the cause of the trouble. He, he or she wouldn't have wanted it either. So he would have been you too. So cooperating to find a common solution will make the solution come faster than it should be. So have each other's support, care and love so that you can pursue one common goal, which is having children. And the third thing that you should know too, when it comes to female fertility, there are several factors responsible for it. So you must seek knowledge. Even when you are believing God for the fruit of the womb, you are trusting God. You must be sure that you are meeting up with medical information. You are going to a fertility clinic. Doctors are advising you and telling you what to do. You are not just doing something by yourself and just believing that it will happen at all. It might just be a common thing, something that a drug or just one intervention can handle in a short time. And meanwhile, you have been fasting without seeking knowledge. Knowledge is power. God answers prayers and he does everything. But what I'm trying to say is get information even while you are believing, okay? And another thing you should do is the fact that when you are told that the tubes are blocked, the only way there is IVF. When it is blocked, your egg cannot come to a place where your husband's sperm can fertilize it. So there's nothing you can do about that. God can open tubes, I believe. But why waiting? Do all that the doctors are telling you to do. Even the IVF, if the hand of God is not in it, it will not even take. There are people that have done IVF for more than four or five times as they still don't have children. So be sure that you are doing what you have to do to have children. Hope you learned something. Follow up on my videos. I am very sure there's a lot for you to learn. Never a dull moment here. Have a nice day. Bye.